Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to talk about kerosene fuel cost. And I know it's a difficult topic to cover on YouTube because there's so many variables that are um, going along with it. But today I'm going to nail it on the head the best I can. But first we have a special treat for you and we're going to introduce you to American Backroad Publishing. For those of you that don't already know, my husband Corey Phillips is an author and he has just released his second novel, The Parsonage. You can check us out at www.americanbackroadpublishing.com and right now we are running a free shipping offer on all of his books up until December 31st of 2022. Corey writes thriller, suspense, murder mystery, and if you're into any of those genres, you're definitely gonna love these and they are really worth checking out. Not just saying because I'm the wifey here, but I have read both of these books probably about six times a piece now. Okay, back on track here. The first thing that you really need to understand before you start calculating your own fuel costs is just how long you can get a tank to go. The tank itself will hold about 1.9 gallons of fuel. And on your fuel gauge, it's gonna show you that it'll run for a max of eight hours. That is not necessarily true. I can actually push 10 to 12 hours and I've even had people report on the YouTube comments of my videos that they're pushing closer to 14 hours. So do your own little experiment and figure out how long you're getting your tank to go. Here's my handy dandy whiteboard. I even have it decorated to say Merry Christmas. Your fuel tank is 1.9 gallons. Your burn time estimated 10 to 12 hours, okay? You use whatever burn time you figured out on one tank. This is for mine, okay? I know the max I'm gonna go through in a 24 hour period, if I run my heater nonstop, okay, is four gallons per 24 hours. Then I take that four gallons per day, okay, that's what calculated there, four gallons per day times seven days equals 28 gallons per week, okay? That's the max amount of gallons I'm gonna use per week. Then I take the 28 gallons and I multiply it by the going rate of kerosene. In my area, it's averaging right now about $7 a gallon. You use whatever number it is for your area, whatever gas station you're going to to fuel up at, uh, whatever that price is, that's what you're gonna insert there, okay? So for me, $7 a gallon, so I'm paying about $196 per week, okay? Then you take that $196 weekly cost, there's four weeks in a month, so my absolute max cost for kerosene is gonna be $784 a month, max cost. Oh boy, now that I just revealed the max cost of what it would be per week and per month, okay, based on the going rate in my area, you would have to figure out your own numbers for your area. Um, I can just imagine the, the YouTube comments that are just gonna start piling in. Um, okay, let's backtrack here. I said that was the max cost. If I was gonna run that kerosene heater 24 hours a day, seven days a week for four weeks, okay? Absolute max cost. Is that what I really pay? Absolutely not. No way, that is not what we actually pay, okay? There are so many factors that go into, um, you know, how much you're gonna pay at the end of the day, okay? Um, and this is one of the reasons why some YouTubers who have done kerosene videos don't really touch this topic because there's so many variables that go in with it. If you're very tedious with paying attention to the weather, okay, and you know it's gonna be single digits or double digits, you know, 20s, 30s, obviously you're gonna be running your heater a lot more because it's freezing outside, right? But when the weather starts pushing into the 40s and 50s and 60s, you may find yourself only running your heater like maybe a couple hours or just an hour. You know, just enough to warm your home, your garage, your shop up, whatever it may be, and then you're gonna shut it off because you're good. Is your house, you know, really well insulated or, you know, wherever you're using the, the kerosene heater, even in your shop or your garage, do you have good insulation or is the heat just kind of escaping out? Those people who are, you know, using this heater in, you know, really well insulated buildings, um, obviously your heating cost is not gonna be nearly close to the max because you, you're able to retain the heat in your, in your building wherever you're using it. 
Okay, so for those of you that are busy typing down there in the comments, because I know you are, um, there's a lot of reasons why people would use kerosene, no matter how expensive or cheap it may be. Before you start judging um, anybody's situation and how much it may cost them to run a kerosene heater for their primary heat source, I know a lot of people are thinking, oh, electricity's cheaper, no propane's cheaper, no natural gas is cheaper. Why the hell don't you just have a wood stove and chop down your own wood? Whatever it may be that you're thinking, just understand that everybody's circumstance is a little different and I push these videos out to kind of just help educate people to know what they would be up against if they chose to do the kerosene heater route. If you found my video helpful, please take a second and hit that subscribe button for me. I'm on a mission to hit a thousand subscribers by the end of the year and it would be such a blessing to have everybody on board with me. Thank you so much from American Backroad Homestead and I will catch you guys on the next one. Bye now. Thank you.